kicks off the evening with three five-minute rounds in the women's 115-pound division. We introduce first fighting out of the red corner. At five foot six, she weighed in 115.9 pounds. Her professional record, five victories, three defeats fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Hurricane Heather Claw. Across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the blue corner. At five foot four, weighing in 115.7 pounds. Her professional record: eight victories, four defeats. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, Feliz, Lil Bulldog Harris. And with the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, George Ortiz. Here we go with the fight in the Bellator women's 115-pound division. Heather Clark facing Felice Herrick. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Dave & Busters. Visit DaveAndBusters.com. Look at the record. Felice Herrick, more experienced and a Bellator veteran. Will that be the difference tonight? Yesterday, in the way, do you see here a little confrontational? Getting in the face of her opponent. Jordan Rebbe, very brave stepping in between those two. In round number one. Well said, Jimmy. Is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. One thing we have not seen with Felix Herrick in Bellator is someone getting in her face and really pushing the action. We have to see how she responds to that. Heather Clark in the top position in the Black Trunks making her Bellator debut. Felix Herrick working out of the bottom position is in the Red Trunks. Herrick holding half guard. I like Felix's skills we've seen so far in Bellator. I like her aggression, but no one's put her on her heels and dictating the pace of a fight. Let's see how she comes back to that. Eric looking to find a sweep from the half guard, nearly. Closing the tight half guard. See, the the, see that left arm over the head in that kind of guillotine position? Not going to get it guillotine through. She's trying to use it to keep Felice from sweeping. Trying to get that head off the ground. You know, trying to destabilize the bottom. Right hands to the body. Or right hands to the body from Heather Clark. Interesting, Jimmy, that Clark is holding the scanty position, not committing to it, but using it to control the head of Herrick as she throws the right hand. And that's smart. I like that. This isn't an easy position to finish the guillotine from. Felice Herrick very slick on the ground. But if she can stabilize, keep her there, score some points on top. It's a good strategy. Referee George Ortiz telling the fighters to improve their position. So try to stand up for Ortiz. Not that subtle. <laughs> Improve that position. Palm oh, strikes there with the left hand from Heather Clark. You're going to pass, you got to control the head and the arm. She's not doing that right now. She's controlling one or the other. She was controlling the head, now she's trying to control the arm. Watch the back of the head. Watch the back of the head. Sneaky reverse elbows by Clark. Again. Two thirty-five remaining in round one. Heather Clark looked very strong this morning in her Bellator debut. She does. She hasn't committed to the pass yet. And hasn't committed to any submission. She can handle a little ground and pound, but you the referee not pleased with her activity so far. Now we're going to lock up the Kimura. Ortiz seemingly growing impatient. I think to keep the ref happy, she's going to have to commit to the pass. Got to get that foot on the instep, the top instep, I'm sorry, her instep on the, the thigh of Felice Herrick, force that leg through. So far she's been content to sit in half guard. Big forearm strikes to the elbows from Clark. That woke up the crowd. I saw that on the big screen, that was a clean shot. And also, this is 
very fatiguing. You're carrying your opponent's weight, you're on your back. It costs a lot of energy in an opening round, being on the bottom all the time. Mark trying to step over to full mount and get it. Clark hasn't done a whole lot of damage to Mark. She's wearing her down here. She is holding top position. Another elbow strike from Clark. Clark's trying to open up, get a little more distance here. Keep working, keep working. He's not come particularly close to getting a sweep. Lise Herrick stuck on her back for the vast majority of this opening round with women's 115 pounders. Half a minute now remaining in round one. Clark now with the right hand back to the body and to the head. Clark has been just busy enough to satisfy referee George Ortiz. Ortiz has continually said, keep working, improve your position, but Clark has been able to do enough to hold this top position. See, like that. Just burst it up just long enough to get a little red up and going. Keep the referee happy. That's a move. Clark trying to sit up. The end of round one. So when you have her on that on the mount, to the, the corner of heaven floor, I need you to go ahead and start thinking about pump, well, pushing that knee down. You're doing good. Yeah. Soften up the body with the first, and then go ahead and cross these like you're doing earlier. Like you have that fake more, you have that more, so fake it, and then go into that mount. It's gonna give you anything that you want. Breathe, 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 breathe. You're doing good. You look good. Anytime you want to, you can posture up and file with heavy elbows. She's not going to be expecting you. Make it so loose. Okay. See here, there's a takedown, an overhand right, right to the head and arm throw. Popular in wrestling, popular in judo. A little bit of ground and pound. Mostly a forearm smash, but it's working out. Stayed on top, that's her round for sure. Tonight's judges score on Cage Side are assigned by the state of Florida. Jenny is always with the unofficial scorecard. 10 9, Heather Clark, the only way I can see it. On top, in control the whole time. Now, to the step of Felice Herring. Frustrating round one for Felice Herring. Really satisfying opening round for Heather Clark. Does well, she controls range with kicks very well. It's a good push kick and a snap kick. It's right for it there. Mark opting for the long, I beg your pardon, Herring opting for the long sleeves. I'm trying to think if we've ever seen long sleeves in MMA. We've seen the long pants a lot. But it's really popular in Jiu Jitsu, you get a little stickier with your arms. You know, things like arm triangle chokes, even arm bars, it sticks a little bit better. I, use that. I think she's just about fashion. That is, uh, that is the least thing in the case. Downside is it can work to get you an arm bar a little bit harder to pull that arm out. Finish fighter Tommy Valentin, and I think he's the the long sleeve. That's the only one that I can remember. I have obscure MMA trivia for 200, Sean. Just a little bit. Some of the punches going past uh, Felice Herring's head. Slapping kick by Herring. Oh, good left kick by Herring on the corner. Really surprised Clark hasn't gone for a takedown yet. She was successful on top, and it's been a back and forth battle on the feet. In fact, I'd give uh, Felice Herring the slight edge, but a little bit more accurate. I'm surprised she's playing this game. Herring walking forward. And kick over the top. Right hand from Felice Herring. by Heather Clark. The knee. Turn right back by Herrick. What is that? 
this is right with the hair extension. Only in women's MMA. You ready? The free George Ortiz was brave there. Playing with the hair. I would have called time and taken it over to the police, Eric's corner. Let them deal with it. So far, but I'm really surprised she's playing this boxing game in Free Sarah, especially when she was so successful on the ground in the first round. Nice right hand. Coffee is coming in. Two minutes remaining in round number two. Virtually all ground in round number one, all stand up here in round two. Good left hook again, landing by Harry. Jeff Curran saying, come on, please, pressure her, pressure her. 
What she wants to do is work that weak side, the left side. You see the the uh, Felice's left side. So the other side, that leg very high up on her waist, the knee right there. Then try and get over that knee. That's the key to the guard from here. Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Spike. It's Bar Rescue. They will look to save America's first karaoke bar. Let's see. Right to the body from Harry. Fishing for the Kimura from the bottom. She can turn that into a sweep from here. She goes hard for the Kimura and she doesn't get it. Can't do it, still trying to step over. And she does step over in the mount. Now turning, giving her back. Clark trying to pull her off, but at least not that high in the ride. It's going to be hard to pull her over the head. She did it in the closing stages of round two. Felice Herring again looking for the rear naked choke finish on Heather Clark. You know, that's one, been one of Felice's keys to victory in Bellator is her consistency. She's consistent throughout the fight. 15 minutes. She's been solid. Clark had a great opening round and has faded at the end of this fight. Herring holding that tight, tight body triangle. Trying to roll himself to a better position. Can't do it. And the rear naked choke attempt from Felice Herring. Pushes her away. Is her little backhand. I believe that's a yellow card for taunting. <laughs> yeah, a lot of trash talk leading up to this fight. No love lost between these fighters, man. There's some talk before the fight. It continued at the weigh-in. 
But it, hey, let's face it, it's Felice Herrig who backed it up in the cage. Excellent second and third round. Jimmy, let's readdress the point I was making a moment ago. When you're judging under the unified rules of MMA, there is no criteria that rewards submission defense or submission escapes. It may look impressive. You're showing a lot of guts, a lot of heart, a lot of tenacity. But it's the fighter who's going for the submission who's being rewarded because they have the more effective grappling. No, as it should be, but... Police are just all over in rounds two and three. Still has attitude. So two rounds to one, 29-28 for you? Two rounds to, to one. 29-28, did great on top in that first round, but never got on top again, never went back to that strategy, which I find surprising. Stay where you're winning. She decided to kickbox in round two, did not work out for her. But good consistency by Felice Harris. She didn't get mentally out of the fight after getting dominated in the first round. Ladies, still the heavy bump the distance will go to your judges' scorecards where your first judge, Mike Ross, sees the fight 29 to 28, seeing the fight for Clark. Your second judge, Chris Lee, scores the fight 29 to 28, seeing the fight for Herring. Your third and final judge, Richard Davis, scores the fight the same 29 to 28. He sees the fight for the winner by split decision, Felice the Bulldog Herring. It's still no hug between these two. It went the full 15 minutes, and Felice Herring gets victory nine of her pro MMA career.